this is Neon Filter. I am going to show you how to make some riser or faller effects using some of your own material as a starting point. Um, so what I'm going to use is this synth sound here that I have recorded. <laughs> Sounds like that. Uh, but you know, you could use anything you want, uh, say a vocal or a piece of guitar, um, whatever. And so this is kind of cool because then you can kind of get some customized sound effects and like riser follower effects coming into a drop or out of a dropper or kind of whatever. And, um, and it's customized. It's totally yours. Um, no one else is going to have it. And it's based on audio that you're using in your project, um, which can kind of tie everything together in a nice way. So I'm going to do this by using a ping pong delay. So I'll drag the ping pong delay onto this channel. And I'm going to increase the bandwidth a little bit. And so I'm going to use a special type of mode in the ping pong delay um, called repitch mode. And so you can go up in right click on the top bar and that'll give you an option to change this to repitch. Um, I'm going to turn my dry wet to 100%. Um, I'm going to change this mode to uh, from sync mode to time so that I have a kind of a continuous uh, grid that I can you know go off of and it's not quantized to the beat. Um, and so I'm going to start off with a bit of a delay, about a hundred milliseconds. This could be whatever you want. Um, I just wanted to do it greater than, greater than one so that I start off with a bit of a, a bit of a delay time. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press play on this and then I'm going to hit this freeze mode, um, pretty shortly after to kind of capture a little bit of a delay loop. And then I'm going to adjust the time, which is going to kind of, as um, in repitch mode uh, in the delay, as I change the time, then it's going to either kind of like lengthen or shorten the, the delay, which like if you were doing that on a tape player, then it uh, changes the pitch as well. So, um, and while I do that, I'm gonna record it. So I'm gonna, you know, command T and get a new audio track. Um, that's command T on a, on a Mac. Um, and so, I'm going to change the in and out settings. I'm going to take audio from uh, my delay. And again, if you don't see this little in and out bar, you can go to the IO and make sure that's highlighted down here. And so that's going to grab audio from this delay channel and pull it over there. So I'm going to arm it and I'm just going to turn it off for now. Uh, just so it doesn't come through my, my master channel and I don't get the, the audio doubling up and getting really loud. So I'm going to record this over and um, get it as an audio audio piece here. So uh, here we go. Press the freeze, and then I can start to lengthen the, the delay time, which is going to kind of pitch it down, and then start to decrease it. Just gonna start to make those little delays shorter and you'll hear it pitch up. So, there we go. So now I have um, an audio piece that is recorded from here and you know it has the, the faller section and then a riser section. And um, so I can use that in my tracks and, you know, it's built off this. Uh, so that's really, that's really cool. I like doing that. And you can experiment with different delay times, you know, starting, starting with, you know, the delay higher or, or lower, um, hitting the freeze at different times, maybe not using the freeze. Um, you can get some really cool stuff with just the ping pong in that, uh, that repitch mode. So you know, experiment with that, see if you can come up with anything cool. So I hope that you found that useful. All right, take care. Bye.